Hello, hello, and welcome back to Ant's Gaming Suite. This is your host, Anthony, and we are back with another V Rising video. Hope you guys have been well and fantastic. And today's video topic is all about how do I get to level 38 gear score with the current weapons that I have. Uh, so I have Merciless, and then I do have the Merciless Copper Sword, which is one of my favorite weapons at the moment. So how do I get to it? How do I get to level 38 in order to go ahead and defeat the Quincy Bandit King? which is what the video is all about. But before we jump straight into the video today, make sure you guys hit that like, hit the subscribe, and also leave a comment section down below. What are some of your boss takings or what are the some of the things that you like about the game itself? That would be pretty awesome. Anyway, for those of you who don't know what V Rising is, as we jump straight into the video, it is a sandbox game uh, set in the theme of vampirism in the land of Varodan, if I believe I pronounced that right. But anyway, uh, I did mention previously in my other video on how to get good gear score, or not gear score, but better equipment. And I did mention that you do have to uh, tailor it to getting a lot of paper. However, paper is actually not the best method as I have figured that out. So the best, best method uh, for you as you're starting out into the game and you're level one is to obviously create all the other weapons. So when you go into the workbench, you do notice that you can make reinforced bones, which is an upgrade from the bone sword. Uh, you have your copper, which eventually upgrades to your merciless. And then you have your iron and then iron merciless, I believe, and so on and so forth. And then there's a whole bunch of equipable rings that you can farm across the map. This is the same case with armoring. So you have a little level two plated armor, and then you have your night stalker vest, which can eventually be upgraded to a gear four merciless. So the first tip that I did mention early on is to farm a lot of paper however paper isn't the right way to go because you do need 50 papers in order to do one research and you don't know what the rng is you could get a really good weapon you could get a decorative you get it could get a structure you might not get the armor or weapon that you need which is absolutely time wasting um, however the paper is very useful if you want to build the paper print uh, which eventually makes scrolls and paper for you to research more things However, this is what I come into and let you guys know there's actually a far easier way. The first step is for you to build a, a blood altar. And with all these particular boss, you probably haven't noticed, but they do drop specific items. For example, the one that we're going to talk about is Gracian Armorer. He will give you, if you haven't already killed him, he will give you Crimson Agassiz. You will get some floorboards, a part, uh, assortment statues, and you will get the ability to make some whetstones. However, the thing about killing Grayson over and over again is that uh, you do get the chance of, well, he does give you the chance or opportunity of dropping these item called Merciless Night Stalker Recipe Books. When you have these Night Stalker Recipe Books, you don't have to collect 50 paper. All you gotta do is bring the book back into your research altar and then research it back into the desk, which is a far lot easier process than farming 50 paper. So you're probably wondering, where is Grayson? Grayson is located at the Bandit Armory. If you look closer, he is located towards the center of the Far Bane Woods, um, pretty much west of it. But he is pretty much located in this uh, square box. My advice for him is to always try and keep your distance. Um, you know, go in and attack, come out, pull back. Uh, and that is pretty much the gist of it. He's not too hard of a boss, I'd have to say. However, he does drop a lot of nails, as I have mentioned, um, and you do have those armor, which you can pop them. However, my advice is to go and kill Grayson over and over again until you get the full recipe for the messiness armor, armor vest, the gloves, the boots, the leggings, uh, which will probably give you to gear level around 30, maybe 31 or 32. It just really depends on your weapon as well. So it really depends on your weapon as well and the ring that you have allocated on. Right now, I only have a level gear 9 which isn't too good for me at the moment but I am using a merciless copper so where do you go from there once you've killed Grayson over and over again and you got your <coughs> merciless armor my best point of tip is to go to the bandit sulfur quarry the reason why you want to go to the bandit sulfur quarry is because when you go into this research desk you will have the opportunity to get an upgrade of the copper sword into the merciless copper he does drop the sword, the axe, 
the mace, the spear, and it also drops the crossbow. So once you keep farming him over and over again, you will get this opportunity to get them, uh, which will boost you to around level 38 gear score, which is more than enough for you to go ahead and kill the Bandit King. So the Bandit King at the moment, he is at level 37. However, he will give you the ability to unlock iron ingots, the iron weapon, uh, pretty much you get your slasher, you get the reaper, which are two additional weapons that you can get in iron. You get the Hello Fang Battle Gear, and then you have your Tailoring Bench and the Smithy Bench that you can eventually farm, which is a very good addition to you uh, as you progress into the next stage of the game, which you eventually move to the Dunley Farmlands. Until then, hope this video guide helps you out in terms of how to push your gear score to level 38 in order to fight the, uh, the Quincy or the Bandit King himself. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.